A warm welcome to you again. Now, Nigeria's fourth telecoms firm, Etisalat Nigeria, which has kept hard grips from 13 banks two weeks ago, has been taken over by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Uh, consequently, the CBN has sent its deputy governor, Joseph Nana, to Etisalat as its new chairman. The development follows Etisalat's failure to meet up with payments of the 1.2 billion US dollar loan it took from a consortium of 13 banks a few years ago. It was gathered that this latest move was taken in order to save the firm from total collapse and restore confidence of foreign investors in the country. Mr. Kim Belo Osage had resigned last week as the chairman of the company. Well, now let's take you through some brief history of Etisalat. Etisalat began trading in Nigeria exactly October 2008 with a groundbreaking 0809 You Choose campaign. For the first, very, very first time, mobile phone customers could choose numbers special to them to create their own phone numbers. This tradition of customer focused innovation continues today with a growing customer base of more than 21 million established in the United Arab Emirates in 1976 with footprints in 19 countries across the Middle East, Asia and Africa. Etisala continues to pioneer innovative technologies in emerging markets and reach millions globally. The crisis in the Etisala Nigeria started when the company could not repay uh, the $541.8 billion debt owed to some Nigerian banks. Now, despite the intervention of the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, to broker a peaceful resolution uh, between Etisalat, Nigeria, and the Consortium of Bank, it appears the efforts may not have yielded a truce. Now, this has necessitated the intervention of the Apex Bank, that is the Central Bank of Nigeria. Well, indeed, this has actually been on the front burner and um, mobile experts, internet, and um, talking about the telecoms uh, giants and others have been reacting to this development, particularly with regards to the debt and the actions by the bank. But let's put this into perspective. And joining me via Skype is the Director General of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, uh, Muda Yusuf. And I'm going to be also having via phone the Executive Secretary of the Association of Telecoms uh, Company of Nigeria, Ajibola Olude. Thank you, gentlemen, for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, now, DGLCCI, Mr. Muda Yusuf, I'm going to start with you. Now, CBN has constituted a new board for Etisalat, Nigeria. Um, indeed, everyone is saying this seems to be too swift. Do you see this as a positive move? Yes, I think it is a positive move uh, because uh, the nature of the industry is such that if there is a total collapse of the system or a total collapse of confidence in the system, it will affect not just the investors, it will also affect a lot of subscribers. And uh, the ripple effect will be very profound. It will be enormous on the system. So I think that is why uh, I will commend the intervention of the CBN uh, in the whole process. The whole idea is to ensure that the system is stabilized, uh, confidence is retained, and subscribers and all the investors along the entire value chain in that uh, industry or in that particular company are not adversely affected. Because if there is a major uh, collapse or a major shortcoming or a major setback uh, in the system, it will affect not just the investors, it will affect a whole lot of whole lot of investors and subscribers and the collateral damage will be quite enormous. And of course, we also have the implications that the total collapse will have on the financial system, on the banks that, that has exposure that have exposure to the to, to the uh, to the telecoms company, so I think it's a, it's a good step. It's a step in the right direction. All right, then, DG, hold your thoughts. I, I'm going to be back to you. I want to get the executive secretary's views on the same issue. Like, what do you make of it? That's I'm talking about Ajibola Olude now. What do you make of this decision 
by the central bank, sending its deputy, uh, deputy governor, one of deputy governors, to go and become the chief executive officer of a Tisalat Nigeria? Uh, for me, the move is uh, strategic, considering the um, the, the position of Etisalat uh, now in the telecommunication industry. You see, uh, when we want to obtain a loan from any bank, there are what we call terms and conditions. And um, before the loan was given to Etisalat, I think Etisalat will have signed that, okay, if, if, if I mean, in an event that um, we are unable to pay, a uh, bank can do this, can do that. And uh, I want to believe uh, what is happening now is the fulfillment of terms and conditions that, um, that, um, that, uh, that came with the, uh, with, with the loan. Now, Ajibola, Ajibola, before I, I, I'm still going to, before I go back to the DG, the, the first move made by the Apex, by this 13, oh, I think I have to reconnect to uh, Ajibola. Now I'm back to the DG of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Muda uh, Yusuf. Now, DG, sir, earlier the directive, or uh, after this development, when Etisala couldn't pay or to pay the debt, the 13 banks came together and said they were going to take over Etisalat. That was the first move. But the CBN halted them, didn't allow them to make this move. What do you make of that early development? Well, uh, these are contractual issues. Uh, I cannot comment in details because to comment on issues that have to do with contractual relationships, one must have access to the details of that agreement. So to the extent that I don't have the details of that agreement, I may not be able to comment uh, properly uh, on whether it is right or wrong for the banks to contemplate the total taking over and whether it was uh, right for the CPN to disallow such a move. But what I know is that uh, the company has suffered a very serious uh, exchange rate uh, shock because all these challenges are coming because of the exchange rate uh, exposure. And this is something that has happened to even many other companies that had very high exposure to uh, uh, foreign, uh, foreign credit support. Uh, because the moment you had a sharp depreciation in exchange rates, and many companies has, have actually you know, gone under as a result of the shock. So as to whether it is right or wrong, uh, Unless I have the details of the contractual agreements between the banks and the it will be very difficult for me to comment properly on that. Okay, DG, DG, even the former chief executive, a chairman of the company, that um, Akim Belo Osage, also resigned um, for the, because of this same issue. Did you think that was a bold step or you just had to just bow because uh, bow to pressure or because of the development? Yes, I think, I mean, he's a very... He's a highly respected uh, businessman. Uh, he must have uh, examined all the details, look at all the facts. And if he felt that well, that was the best thing to do, I think it's very honorable for him to, to just uh, step aside so that the company itself can move on. Just as I said, uh, what is at stake is not just the shareholders. There are, there are a whole lot of issues at stake when it comes to a business like the telecoms business. Uh, in fact, the, 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 the reputation of the country is also at stake when you have this kind of business going under. So that is why, just like the banking system, uh, we should not spare any efforts to ensure that uh, the business does not go under. And the process has to be managed in such a way that uh, we don't have any serious uh, damage, uh, reputational damage to the country, or a major problem in the telecom sector or a major problem also for the financial system. I think these are, these are things that the CBN is also trying to manage. Indeed. Oh, indeed. Now, DG, hold your thoughts. I'm still going to be back to you because I now have Ajibola Olude uh, back their phone. Now, Ajibola, I'm going to throw it to you because earlier when this happened, the first move was that the banks were going to take over the company. That was the first move, but the CBN didn't allow this happen. And many have said <laughs> there seems to be an undertone to this. I don't know what you make of this. 
For me, there is no understanding to it. You see, this uh, CBN has to perform its um, statutory function in uh, making sure that um, uh, 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 there's no um, there's no uh, there's no problem between Etisalat and um, uh, and um, uh, those banks that. Um, uh, that lent extra large money. So what CBN has just done, I think, is what it is expected of a, a statutory organization like that to do. So with the new management now headed by the Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, do you see them taking a tisalat, well, to the promised land? Uh, you see, uh, the, 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 the purpose of uh, putting them there is one, to, 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 to reduce or avoid the non-performing loan crisis you know, in the banking industry. And um, I think once they are able to stabilize the operation of, of extra large uh, 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 and get, a new, and get um, new investor who will invest into the, um, into the telecommunication company, then, I mean, I mean uh, uh, for me, there's no problem. Okay, then I, I, I hold your thoughts. I'm going to go back to you. Let me speak to the DG now. DG, looking at this move, you've applauded it by the Apex Bank. But like I said, is this going to take a Etisala to greater heights? Are they expected to be able to properly manage the firm better than it's been managed before now? Uh, well, first of all, let me say that my understanding of getting a CBN man to be the chairman of the of a Salat is a transitional thing. It's a purely temporary thing. Uh, because the the CBN deputy governor, I mean, is not a, cannot say that he has so much expertise as far as telecoms is concerned and the rest of it. I think what I think is being done is to put in place a transitional arrangement, an arrangement that will minimize shocks to the system, and uh, an arrangement that will allow the system to stabilize until we have other investors either coming in or until we have a proper uh, arrangement, uh, settlement, uh, or a framework that will allow the system to continue as a going concern between the, 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 the creditor banks and uh, and and it is allowed as an entity so for me it's a purely transitional uh, arrangement ultimately the the bank i mean the the, the company we see have to go uh, to be run by those who are really the real owners ultimately of the business that is what that is what i believe all right then indeed dg and uh, the executive secretary of the association of telecoms company of nigeria we on, go on a short break and we'll be back to continue this discussion please stay with us on the show All right, thank you for staying tuned. And we'll still have Vas Skype, the Director General of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, uh, Muda Yusuf. Well, Vas Phone 2 is Executive Secretary of the Association of Telecoms Company of Nigeria, Ajibola Olude, discussing issues surrounding Etisalat, Nigeria. And of course, uh, it's no more news that the, the company is indebted to 13 banks as a consortium of banks. Now, DG, some analysts and even some Nigerians have argued that this would lead to job losses. Talking about Etisalat staff, um, you know, what is your reaction to this? No, not necessarily. If uh, the steps that have been taken now is to ensure that the company continues as a going concern, continues to deliver services and value to its customers. I'm sure that will ensure the, the, the retention or the preservation of the jobs of the employees of the company. And I believe that part of the reason that the CBN is also stepping in is to ensure that we don't have a situation where the shock on the system will be so much that uh, the company will have to go under. 
So, and I'm sure that all the stakeholders concerned, uh, it is in the interest of all of them to ensure that the company remains as a going concern. Otherwise, everybody will be a loser. I'm also sure that the banks will not want the business to go under as a result of this indebtedness. So it's in the interest of all the stakeholders to ensure that the company continues to run, the employees continue to be in service because ultimately they are the ones that will continue to run the business. And so that uh, at some point, at least the, the confidence will be regained and uh, the business will be back on its feet. Uh, this is not the first time we are having this kind of intervention. We have similar interventions in the, in the, in the banking system through AMCOM and the, le and the rest of them. We have had similar interventions even globally. I mean, I remember there was a time the United States uh, government had to intervene to salvage the, the auto industry in the United States. You know, I mean, this is uh, the melting pot of capitalism. But when the government realized that there was a major crisis and there was a major threat to jobs and to the economy, the government stepped in. Today, the auto industry in, in the United States are fully back on their feet and they are fully paid their debt. So I imagine that this scenario can also be replicated in this. Uh, it should be stabilized and uh, uh, before long, I'm sure that the company will be back on its feet. Uh, uh, let me ask Ajibola Olude that the same question. Uh, Ajibola, uh, you're an operator, uh, you know, Association of Telecoms Company of Nigeria. Uh, I don't know if you also have that belief because many have said that Definitely, a Tisala staff, some will be sent parking. Um, the DG has said that might not happen. I don't know if you told that line. That's what? That they might lay off some workers. Uh, definitely, they will lay off some workers because uh, 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 the revenue will drop. Right? Hello? I can hear you. Right, go carry on. I please. said, I said, the are likely to lay off some of their staff. And the simple reason is that, um, one, the company is um, going through a financial crisis, and uh, that warrants them to, you know, to lay off some staff so that they can operate a smart, um, a smart um, uh, uh, company. Indeed. So you, but do you believe that this new management can really help Get yep, the banks get their monies back because that is really important. If uh, 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 if um, because the banks uh, need to get their money. Uh, you see, you see, uh, uh, definitely the bank will get their money. But I want to uh, say one or two things before I answer your question. You see, the problem of Edis Alert uh, is as a result of um, the instability in the forest market. And, uh, hello? Yes, I can hear you. And uh, you see, if care is not um, applied, we will have uh, another casualty in the telecommunication industry. You see, uh, the CBN will do us a lot of, um, uh, a lot of uh, favor if they can reinstate telecom uh, companies as uh, uh, a sector that can buy, you know, dollars directly from them. Because, you know, the loan that you took when dollar was uh, one something, one and something error, now the dollar is almost, I mean, it's, 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 I mean, uh, the dollar is, uh, the dollar is 365 naira as we speak to you. Are you going to now? So the CBN has to come to the head of the telecommunications sector. If we don't want um, uh, this problem, uh, to continue. All right, Ajibala, a good good one there. Talking about forex. Finally, from you in one in one line now. Any effects on subscribers? It is a lot subscribers. Just in one line. Any effects? Do you think anything would affect the subscribers? Mm, the subscribers will not uh, suffer much because there's already a new management in place, and the new management will ensure that uh, 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 they still maintain their. Yeah, subscribers level in the telecommunication industry. All right, then, Executive Secretary, Association of Telecoms Company of Nigeria, Ajibola Olude, thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Yes. Now, DG, finally, before I, I, I let the DG go, 
Ajibola Olude just talked about Forex, talking about the increase, which, you know, you getting getting a loan for this amount, and now you're paying back double of almost what you're getting. And this is impacting negatively on almost all businesses. I don't see, I don't, I don't know what you make of this. Hello? Yes, DG, can you hear me, sir? No, can you come again? Okay, yeah, I talked about the Forex issue. The executive secretary of the Association of Telecoms Company of Nigeria just said that that is one of the effects. That's why, why we have this problem that the, the loans were taken when the dollar was 190 something naira, and now the dollar goes for 366 or 65 naira. He said that's part of the challenge we have. I said, do you, do you, do you buy into that? Yes, that is that is a challenge, but it's not a challenge that is uh, peculiar to only the telecoms company. It's an economy-wide uh, challenge, so it will be difficult to isolate the telecoms company and say that we give a special rate to them. I mean, I know of a number of manufacturing companies that have gone under as a result of their exposure to offshore financing. You know, so it's not something peculiar. But what I think can happen is for the banks to look at the option of restructuring the facility uh, so that they can give a breathing space for, for a tissalat. Another option is to convert some of this debt into equity so that they become part owners of the business and they begin to run the business. These are the options I think we can look at because it is not the best uh, to allow the system to go under because if the, if the system goes under, then everybody will be a loser. And this is a business that is also dependent a lot on confidence of subscribers. The moment there is a total loss of confidence in the network, then the whole business will, 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 go, will go under, which is not also in the interest of the banks. So every hand must be on deck to see how the salvation, I mean, the, the business can be, can be salvaged. To so look at the option of restructuring of the facility, we should look at the option of converting some of the facilities into equity so that the banks will become part owners of the business. Director General, Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Moda Yusuf, I must thank you very much for your time joining us on Business Nigeria today. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure.